Goku and Goten would have left the Room of Time after both obtained abysmal powers. These left thanks to some dimensional portals that directed them to Earth. But coincidentally, both would appear in Goku's house, and at that moment, Chi-Chi and Gohan were talking. When suddenly Goku and Goten had appeared in that place, Gohan and Chi-Chi would not be aware of their presence, until Goku with a blow had destroyed the entrance of the house. Gohan would say to his mother, Chi-Chi, It cannot be. Now who will it be? Mother, stay here. Don't move. I'll go see what's going on. I'll take care of that guy. Goku would not finish saying these words when suddenly he felt a hand touching his shoulder from behind. At the same time, he would hear a voice telling him, That's right, Gohan. It's me. Your father. This would leave Gohan completely dumbfounded because he believed that his father had died in the time room. He would be speechless because he knew what was coming was not going to be good at all. His heart would start beating much faster. He could notice his way of speaking, that he really did not come with good intentions. A worried and scared Gohan would say, It's impossible. It cannot be your father. Gohan would slowly turn around and see his father's face next to Gohan with a totally cold expression. Funny Gohan, you were the first one I found. Maybe fate itself wanted it that way. Damn it, what do you want, father? Did you think they could get rid of me? How naive they are. Father, I told you, what do you want? You're an idiot, Gohan. You know very well what will happen here. Please don't do it. Everything I did was because I was forced to do it. I really never would have done it. You're my father. How could I have been born from me to do that to you? That goes against my principles. But if I didn't do it, they'd kill my mother. I'm sorry, Dad. Please, understand. I don't care about that, Gohan. If you would have told me, I would have known what to do. But you preferred to do it that way. I got a great accumulated rage for every damn day I spent in that empty place. At least be thankful that I'll not be the one who kills you. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Goten, who had been silent, would say, Seriously, Gohan, I'll be the one to kill you. I'll end your life. I'll not forgive you for what you did to my father. But it can't be Goten. You can't do this. I don't want to have to kill you, so please, don't get involved. Goten, without saying another word, would hit him in the face and make Gohan fall on the ground from the impact. Since he didn't expect it, Goten would stand in front of him saying, Do you think I'm still the same weak as before? Right now, you should be afraid, brother. Chi-Chi would see this and say, No, Gohan, are you okay? Goten, why are you doing this to your brother? Oh, I didn't educate you, son. Mother, you're the least indicated to say that. You betrayed my father, and I'm not going to forgive you for that either. But, son... Shut up, mother. I don't want to listen to you. Gohan would get up from the floor, saying, I see, Goten, so you want to fight with me. I'm sorry that this has to be done this way, but you forced me. At that moment, Gohan would start to ascend his power. Due to the amount of power, the house would be completely destroyed and would be shattered. Chi-Chi didn't want her two sons to confront each other and would tell Gohan, Please, son, I ask you to stop! You must make another way to solve this. Goku very seriously would say to Chi-Chi, Stay out of this. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me like that, Goku. You're an idiot for doing it. I said shut up, Chi-Chi. If you don't want me to kill you. Chi-Chi would be stunned by the Saiyan's treatment because she didn't remember Goku being like that. He seemed like a stranger to her. He wasn't the fun and happy guy she remembered, but deep down she knew it was all because of them. That's why Goku changed so drastically. Goku no longer cared about protecting anyone. He just wanted revenge for everything they did to him. After everything he had done for all of them, they betrayed him in the most shameless way. Gohan had transformed into his most powerful form, so he would say, Now if Goten will finish you, you have the opportunity to remedy your decision, but you didn't want to. Now you have to deal with the consequences. As you wish, Gohan. At that moment, Goten as well as Gohan would also increase his power, using the Super Saiyan. Gohan with a slight smile would say, You really think to defeat me with that power, Goten? How incredulous you are! Goten before these words would not answer, absolutely nothing. He would only remain silent, and when he heard this, the atmosphere of that place had become very tense. Even Goku was anxious to see how this fight would take place. Gohan would adopt his fighting pose, waiting for Goten to be the first one to make the attack. And so it was, Goten at that instant would throw himself at full power against Gohan, trying to hit him in the face. But Gohan would dodge it very easily. So Gohan would say, How naive you are, Goten. But what Gohan did not know is that Goten had already foreseen in advance that this would happen. At the time that Gohan dodged Goten, he had moved to his right, which meant that Goten was behind his back. So Goten would use this to his advantage and give a super kick to Gohan, which he did not expect, and would send him with great force to the ground, creating a huge hole in the ground, leaving everything full of debris. Chi-Chi was crying when she saw all this. She tried to cover her eyes to not see what was happening at that moment. Gohan, a little sore, would get up from the ground. 
I didn't expect that one. I admit, that was a good attack. I see that I have to take this much more seriously. Now get ready, Goten. Gohan would take advantage of the solid surface of the ground to propel himself with speed to where Goten was above him. But when trying to impact with Goten, Goten used his two hands like a stone to hit Gohan and throw him back to the ground. But this was useless, because Gohan was totally prepared. Gohan would take him by his hands and legs and start hitting him in the stomach with his knee, hitting Goten with multiple blows, making him spit some blood. Your stupidity led you to this, Goten. It's a shame I have to do this to you, brother, but I will not have mercy on you. Just as you did not have mercy on me. Gohan was superior to Goten at that moment, and you could notice a big difference in the power of both. Gohan would finally knock him down with a kick to the back. Goten had fallen to the ground, and Gohan would say, Say your last words before he kills you. Gohan would prepare an energy attack. Goten would just close his eyes, which made Gohan think that he had already accepted his fate. I see, so you won't say anything. Goodbye, brother. Next, Gohan would launch his attack against Goten, observing how the power was getting closer and closer to him. But suddenly, the energy had begun to retreat. Gohan didn't know what was happening, because the power energy limited his vision to see what was happening on the other side. He was very confused. Cannot be. What's happening here? Suddenly, that power would vanish, so Gohan could see what had happened. He noticed that his brother now had white hair and was standing, staring at him. It can't be. You should be done with that attack. What's wrong? Now I feel another kind of power in you. It's impossible. What is that? That is Ultra Instinct, a power that goes beyond the gods. This was the moment I was waiting for. I wanted to see your face right now. I don't understand what's going on. Don't even try to understand, Gohan. I just have to tell you that your story is over. Shut up, Goten. Don't talk nonsense. Gohan would throw himself again against Gohan, but he would be unable to hit him, even a single blow. And he didn't understand why, since he didn't even see Goten move. It was as if he was a ghost. But this was due to Goten's speed, and not even Gohan had been able to notice his movements. This was a lot to process for Gohan, although finally Goten let himself be hit, so that Gohan would notice how weak he was in front of him. Gohan was stunned to see that his blows did not even move Goten a millimeter. He made his blows look like garbage. Goten, in the blink of an eye, left Gohan seriously wounded, and lifted him by the neck, saying, Don't you think it's worth killing you, Gohan? Do you think it's fair our mother had to see how I ended your life? Do you really think that's fair? What are you saying, Goten? You were the one who wanted to fight! Didn't want to fight. You brought me into this! I was just testing you, Gohan. I wanted to see how you'd react when you had the chance to kill me. I wanted to see if everything you said was true. But thanks to that, I realized that you lied. You were going to kill me at first chance you could. You don't care that I was your blood. You don't care that we were brothers. You don't even care that our mother witnessed all this. You're scum. I don't know at what point you changed so much. I don't remember you like that. Something brainwashed you. You're no longer my brother. I have no reason to allow you to continue breathing the same air as me. No, Goten. Please don't do it. Goku seeing this would tell Goten, Finish it. Don't have any pity on him. Goten would prepare a Kamehameha with all his power which he would try to throw at Gohan, to end his life once and for all. But he would hear Chi-Chi's voice, begging him to stop, to please not do it. And even though Goten hated her for what she did, this could make him stop, since after all, she was his mother. Goku would get mad at Goten, telling him, Why'd you do that? Why'd you stop? Why did you stop? I said, finish him, Goten! I'm sorry, father. I can't. You're unbelievable. I'm really sorry, father. After all, my mother's words ended up influencing me. Goku, angry, would give Goten a kick. I would send him flying hundreds of meters. Should have finished him off. Goku, in his Super Saiyan Red God state, had surprised Goten with his blow. Why did you do that, father? What's wrong with you? For being so naive. It seems that it was my turn to annihilate you, Gohan. I didn't want to be the one to do that, but you've earned it. Goku would charge an attack, which he would throw at Gohan, but in spite of this, he didn't manage to kill Gohan, although he left him extremely wounded. He almost couldn't move, so Gohan saw that he had to use a little more energy to kill him, so he was about to throw it. But suddenly, something had kicked his face, making him crash against some rocks nearby. With a confused voice, Goku would say, What the hell happened? A voice would be heard saying, Insect, what do you think you're doing? I knew the power I felt was about you too. I see, Vegeta, so it was you. I honestly thought you'd run away when I found you, but this surprises me. I've really wanted to see you, Vegeta. You don't know how much I wanted this moment. I knew you were alive, Kakarot, although I must say that I'm very surprised that you were able to get out of that place and that you're still alive. 
Bulma, who had come with him, would explain to Vegeta that probably someone had used the Dragon Balls to make them immortal. Because if not, she couldn't explain how Goten was still a child, when after so much time in that place, he should at least be an adult. Now I understand everything, Bulma. It makes a lot of sense. I wonder if Mr. Beerus found out about that. I don't care about that. Seems I'll have to finish the job. At that moment, Goten was not transformed, since Goku had surprised him with a big hit. Vegeta would tell Gohan that he better run away from that place, but Gohan couldn't even move at all because of the wounds they had. Vegeta would realize this quickly and would take Gohan by the arms. He'd throw him thousands of kilometers away, so they wouldn't end his life. But he didn't think about protecting Chi-Chi, so she would continue in that place, suffering with everything that was happening. Goku would tell Vegeta, doesn't matter if he runs away. Anyway, I'll find him and finish the job. And I won't kill Chi-Chi because of this little appreciation I have left for her. But I will kill you, Vegeta. After everything you did, I long for this moment. To have you face to face. See, you're very determined, Kakarot. But this time I won't play much like before. This will be fast. I won't beat around the bush. Vegeta was surprised by the change in Goku's attitude. He was now somewhat very cold and serious. Goku would pass through a state of Super Saiyan Blue and would begin a great battle. The whole place would begin to tremble. His power was being felt throughout the earth. Due to the great energy that these generated, the sound of the blows to collide could rumble in the ears of the people who were thousands of miles away from that place. No one understood where all these sounds came from. Mr. Satan would tell everyone on Earth to calm down, that he would take care of everything, that they have nothing to fear. People began to believe that this was a new threat, but they never imagined that the two greatest heroes of their planet were fighting a battle to the death, something that would have never have crossed their minds. Goku and Vegeta were fighting side by side, and both were having similar strength. The fight was even for both. Vegeta had improved and increased his power, also because while Goku was not there, he was also training and becoming more powerful. But this equally would not take long when Goku got tired of fighting side by side with Vegeta and decided to show him some of his true power. In just an instant, Goku would use the full state of Ultra Instinct, so his hair would turn white and a splendid aura would surround his body, leaving Vegeta speechless. It can't be. Kakarot became much more powerful in there. He even got a new transformation. It can't be possible. Bulma would see this and knew what was coming. She would immediately tell Mr. Whis to go with Beerus immediately to the place while Goku showed Vegeta his power. Goku with a snap had managed to make a big hole in the earth, which crossed from side to side. Vegeta was speechless to see that practically without moving he had done that. But while Vegeta saw Goku in front of him, at the same time he would feel that he was attacked with several blows from behind. But when he turned around, he could not see anything. He only felt the blows. And when he looked at Goku, he was still standing in front of him. And indeed, these blows belonged to Goku, but Vegeta was unable to see it, so much that he could not believe what was happening. What happened, Vegeta? He looked confused. Goku would approach Vegeta and pierce him through the stomach with his right hand, and then pull out without Vegeta noticing, until he looked down and saw that he had a big hole in his stomach. With a very painful and suffering voice, he would say, This act? Goku would think of a way to end Vegeta's life when suddenly, a very familiar person had appeared. Hi, Goku. So, you're here, Beerus.